730-92.1 WROI, WROIFM.com as we celebrate this Veterans Day today. And of course, in the studio also, streaming live on RTC Channel 4, Audio and 5. Hi, Scotty, how you doing? Good morning, sir. RTC Communications. If you have a smartphone, you can download the TuneIn Radio app, something similar. Take us wherever you're going, which today will be to First Federal Savings Bank, where you'll say good morning to Dick Belcher. Good morning. Good morning. I like your hat this morning. Thank you. Yes, thank you for your service. My hat and my dog tag are the only thing that still fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. A, you know, that's something we can count on. It's even a lie about the hat, because this is pretty new. Um, yeah, so. That's it's a yeah. Nice, it's Veterans nice Day, big yeah, big it day. Is. It is to honor the vets, and uh, I've got a program uh, uh, on the courthouse lawn starting at ten thirty. That's right, and lots of things happening. Wow, we got through the election. We did. <laughs> Woo, we did. I haven't stayed up that late for a long time. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people have stayed up that late for a long time. <clears throat> okay, now. Pence is our vice president. He is. How many former vice presidents have come from Indiana? Uh, one or two. More than that. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Is that a trivia question? Well, I'm just throwing that oh, in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Ender might know the answer to that. He's yeah. a pretty smart guy. I sure do. I think there's at least three. The Pence is six. Six? Wow. Really? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's a big number. Don't ask me to name them. I won't. Okay. <laughs> I won't. We could get that information for next year. Yeah, we'll Google week. that. Okay. Eric Holc Holcomb, new uh, governor. New governor, right? He's uh, going back to the Mitch Daniels he days is. and pick, picking up a lot of those folks. That's right. And Todd Young beat by. Yeah. Our new senator. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Let's see, what else information we can give here? More than 40% of Fulton County voters cast straight ticket ballots. Yeah. I wonder about that. What do you wonder? Well, I wonder about the way the ballot is structured in terms of the computer and how it's set up and whether that confuses a lot of people. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Were you confused? No. But I think it's very easy that you could be confused yeah. as you look at that. I think we should have an investigation. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe before the next election, we'll talk with yeah. Clark Furtival and see what we, we got can four uh, years straighten now out. To work That's on right. this. Two, well, we had two. Well, well, yeah. Nothing next year. We can take next year off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No okay. politics next year. And we won't go to Jurettis. No, I know. Okay. No, well, we can still go there. Now, have, you, have you heard the rumor that Oprah Winfrey's getting married? Uh, yes, I had. Uh, it's not true. Okay. Well, I've heard that rumor for years, so. Okay. Yeah, but it's a new rumor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Not true, huh? You have this first-hand source? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, it's good to know. I, I would worry about that all day, so I'm so glad that you said that. <laughs> well, Hey, you know, Donald got invited to the White House yesterday. He did. As did the Cavs. Mm -hmm. They honored the Cavs. Right. It was, it was like Grand Central Station. Oh, yeah, the big, White day, House big day at the White House yesterday. Run those people back and forth. Yeah. Okay, you ready for a little trivia? Yes. Okay, uh, approximately, according to the Department of Federal Affairs, <laughs> Veteran Affairs, I okay. think, how many estimated veterans were living in the United States? Well, what are living in the United States. Surely I have a choice on this. Yeah, 20, 22, 25, 30 million. Okay. And then another little sidebar here, how many living vets are there in Fulton County? Okay, I like that one too. Okay, in sports, Purdue lost to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Played better. Yeah, we, we're, we're a half time. We're a half team. <laughs> First half, right? Yeah, we play Northwestern coming up. They're 13 point favorite. Yeah. I'm predicting an upset. Are you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Heard it here first. I yeah. like that. Yeah. IU 5-4, and four, they beat Rutgers, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a big win for them. As they, they should have. To get bowl eligible. Right. They need one more yeah. win, right? Right, Scott? Yeah. One more win? Okay. Yeah. They play Penn State tomorrow. Penn State's a six-and-a-half point favorite. Uh-huh. They're pretty good. Notre Dame, three and six. Yeah. 
They lost the Navy. Yeah. Will they make a bowl this year? I don't know. They play Army this, this coming uh, tomorrow at another neutral site, San Antonio, Texas. Wow. They're just traveling all over the country. Notre Dame's a 13-point favorite. As they should be. Wow. Oh, they've got a pretty bad team. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty bad record. Okay. Okay. It's college uh, basketball starts tonight. It does. Yeah. That's right. Purdue starts off with a heavy hitter, McNeese State. Yeah. Watch out for those guys, though. Which state is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're lo located at Lake Charles, Louisiana. Okay. Bet you didn't know that. No, I did not. I don't know where they find these teams. Man, <laughs> well, they're probably excited for the chance to play Purdue. Yeah. Their nickname, this is according to Tanner now, their nickname is Cowboys, and their most notable alum is former Detroit Piston Guard NBA Hall of Famer Joe Dumars. Oh, yeah, Dumars. he was good. Yeah, he was a good player. I remember that's, him. That's their claim of fame. Okay. Notre Dame, uh, they kick off their basketball season with Bryan University. Okay. Big name. Uh, IU kicks off the season tonight playing number three Kansas. Yeah, that's a, they, they, at least, at least they've Boy. got a competitor. Scott. A real state. <laughs> mm. Unlike McNeese, right? <laughs> okay. Now, did you see that uh, at the Big Ten now, starting next year, is going to be playing Friday night games? No, I didn't see that. Where have you been? Wait, are you talking football or basketball? I'm, I'm talking football. Football? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I didn't switched. see that. I no. switched. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have six games a year. Okay. On Friday night. Okay. And the very first one is Purdue at home. Okay. Why? Uh, because, <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, we don't get many people who come anyway. <laughs> and it'll be on national TV. Okay. That's that's what they want. They yeah. want the TV. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. There you go, Scott. So somebody else wants a TV right there. Are you going to be on uh, Friday night? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Okay, you guys got you're having a pretty good year this year. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you're if on your bingo tally for the apocalypse, <laughs> the fact that IU has a better record than Notre Dame in football should be a big one. Yeah, <laughs> that's like B seventeen or something. That's a big number. B seventeen. Well, that's a big number right? on your bingo card. Yeah. That was an airplane in World War I, <laughs> 17. I had to tie in the Veterans Day. Right. You did a good job. You did a good job. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Colts win. Yeah, they won. They're off this week. Got a bye week. Get healthy. Are you health, uh, happy? Oh, no, the absolutely. Win? They played well. Yeah, yeah they deserved beat, to win that game. Beat Green Bay. Yeah. Bears. Uh, they won. Yeah, they won. That's so... You know, about half the teams are winning now. Uh, that's about right, I would mm -hmm. say. We, we probably need to study that, but that's probably mm -hmm. about, uh, probably okay. pretty correct, yeah. Okay, the Rochester girls lost last night. To the academy? And to the academy, the girls. yeah. And 49-37, okay. an interesting little thing there, the first half. Uh, Rochester had 18 points, all scored by Kennedy Musselman. Wow. Big night for Kennedy. And plus she had 13 rebounds. Wow, big well, night. But we got beat. They're getting better. They're 0-3. Yeah. They're getting better. Okay. Yeah, stay with them. They'll be there for the end of the season. That's what we keep saying at West Lafayette. They're getting better. <laughs> They're getting better. <laughs> well, at least they can play a half now. Yeah, okay. Tippy. Typical New Valley Middle School is hosting a free Veterans Day program today at 1.30. The program will feature musical selections by and band by and, and choir students. A flag folding ceremony and a 21 gun, gun salute. Excellent. And so the college is uh, having their Changing Lives scholarship dinner tonight at uh, Swan Lake. Rochester High School Tri Epsilon presents Arsenic and Old Lace. Okay, good show. I was in that once. Were you? Yeah. Oh. I forget the what character I put. No, that was. Uh, I have to think about that. Okay. <laughs> Mary Jane Zellers was the director, and I, I have to be careful what I say. And, and they get it right. 
Anyway, arsenic and old lace is on tonight and tomorrow and t at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Okay. Applications for Christmas baskets will be taken from 9 a.m. to uh, till noon tomorrow at the Community Resource Center. That's a big deal. And applications will also be taken at from 4 to 7 Wednesday, November the 16th at Grace United Methodist Church. So, how about some interesting things to know? I'm ready. Estimated crowd of five million was involved in the Cubs. Oh, for their celebration? Yeah, their wow, celebration. parade? Yeah. Five million. Wow. That's that impressive. Right, that right number? Scott? That's what uh, that's what Chicago tells us. Okay. According to historians, the Cubs parade ranks seventh in history as far as the largest crowd at one event. The crowd wow. was also the largest ever recorded in the Western Hemisphere. Wait a minute. Wow, that's big. Woo. Big. This is put out by the Chicago Chamber of Commerce, right? <laughs> you better believe it is. <laughs> they were announcing five million on uh, the day after they won the World Series, so before the parade they were five million people there. Okay. <laughs> Politics, right? Right. Okay. Edna Carpenter, Fulton County's oldest resident, will celebrate her 104th birthday at the Fulton County Museum tomorrow, 5 to 6. Happy birthday, Edna. Some flowers to Rochester Sena, senior Hannah Town uh, was voted to the Indiana Coaches of Girls Sports Association Class 2A first team. All-state team and junior setter Grace Pfeiffer was voted second team all state. Good players. And uh, RHS coach Aaron Cashin was voted Class 2A North Coach of the Year. Ah, congratulations to everybody. Yeah. That's good. Flowers to all the those uh, volunteers that helped with the uh, election. Takes a lot of people. Takes a lot of bodies, and uh, they did a great job on that. They ran through uh, Fulton County. Did really well. Some flowers also to a couple of uh, uh, World War II vets that we've had on the radio here before. Bob Bridge and Willard Clark, mm -hmm. uh, they both uh, were in that World War II and had some interesting stories yes, to tell they about there. They're 90 plus now. Right. Thank you for your service, Absolutely. Guys. Okay, Dow closed at a record high yesterday. It's had two really good days. Yeah. Does that mean they like Trump? I think so. Well, I remember watching the election returns. Of course, the futures markets that night were dipping badly, yeah, but they bounced right back come dawn. Went so, to 800. Yeah. Minus. Minus Right, 800. but they bounced right back, and we've had two good days. Yeah, it was up 218 yesterday. We're right. at 18,808 now. Right. Now, are you going to ask me when it's going to hit 20? When is it going to hit 20? Moving right along here. <laughs> Donald Trump's campaign committee only spent $238 million compared with Hillary's campaign amount spent 450 Wow. Now, does that uh, $238 million include what Trump spent himself? That I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. Wow. I don't think so. How do you like it? You, know, you spend $450 million and get beat. Wow. Whew. Way of the world. Mm. Well, I mean, look at the Evan By Todd Young race. They spent thirty million between the, the yeah. two of them. Huge amounts of money. Well, I, I'm assuming Evan's political career is over now. Probably. And I, he was probably mumbling to his wife on Tuesday evening. What? How did you talk <laughs> me into this? Oh, he's making a million bucks at this law firm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's called ego. I just just wanted to get back into it a little bit, yeah. I think. I see GM's laying off 2,000 workers. They are. Car manufacturing. Right. 61% of all the sales last year was trucks and SUVs. You know why that is? Why is that? Ch cheap gas. Yes, right. Contributes to it. Anyway. Right. Cost-effective gas. We don't like the word cheap. No, we don't. Yeah. No, we, we never use that word in this program. Okay, uh, today at First Federal, we're open uh, till 5 o'clock, Friday, even if it is Veterans Day. Okay. And we are open, if there's any question about okay. whether we're open Good. or not. ATM is always open, and you can bank with us anytime online and with our mobile app.
We are mortgage loan specialists featuring local loan servicing. We have a display uh, in our front lobby honoring veterans. You might stop by and take a look at that. And rates went up yesterday. They did? Yeah, they, interest rates have gone up since Trump was elected. Okay. Two days. A lot or just uh, just a tick? Uh, no, a lot. Really? Yeah. Now, some say it's a knee-jerk reaction that will be okay next week. Probably. We'll see. Yeah. You know, he gave a lot of heat to the Fed for not raising interest rates. He did. Uh, before now, so we'll see what happens. Well, you know, when he gets in there, there's going to be so many changes, <laughs> good or bad. <laughs> Do well, you they, really think so? Yeah. Do you? Well, you got a you got a Republican House and a Republican Senate. I think they'll get some things done. Yeah. I don't, I just I can't believe we'll see dramatic, dramatic type of change. We we running well, for president is different than being president, right? Yeah. Okay. The first thing we got to do is get that wall built. <laughs> the wall will never happen. And the second thing is get get the Mexicans to pay for it. <laughs> Now, just imagine now you you got a you got a hassle with your neighbor and you're going to build a fence and 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 you tell the neighbor you pay for it. Well, here are we going to have to build a wall to Canada to keep in the people who want to go there after the election and weren't happy with the outcome? Well, I'm not touching that. Okay, I would. Well, we were talking about first federal, weren't we? Yes. Until, <laughs> until you interrupted. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines. A delivery fee may be applicable to the mortgage loan. First Federal is FDIC insured and an equal housing lender. And our NMLS number is 39 or 9 or 9 or 27. We're legal. We're legal. Right. Okay. We're legal. Moving right along here. Yes, we are. Oh, we got some wonderful guests here. Uh, representing Salvation Army, we got uh, Dick Inyard, uh and Major Smelser. Welcome. Good to be here. And Terry Moore. Good morning. Excellent. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, now Dick, you were telling me before we went on the air you, uh, some changes this year in the Salvation Army. Um, well, yes. Uh, Buck Padilla, of course, uh, retired, moved to Cal Colorado. And I have assumed his position as chairman of the county committee. And I organized the, uh, I'm here to talk about bell ringing because we're needing bell ringers this year. Okay. Um, organized that a little differently this way that we have uh, four chairmen looking for bell ringers. The chairman assigned to the locations of Kroger, um, Walmart, Big R, and save a um, We start ringing. The day after Thanksgiving, we're going to ring till Christmas Eve. Uh, the ringing will be from 10 o'clock in the morning till uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. And these are all volunteer ringers, and uh, and we need them very badly. So Takes a lot of people, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Each location is uh, 10 teams, so a day that is. So you can see, yes, it takes a lot of volunteers to cover that space. Major Smeltzer, you've been on this, uh, this tel uh, television radio before. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you fit into this puzzle. You're, you're uh, uh, head, head Fred? <laughs> well, I, I'm actually, my title is a liaison for the, the county. Uh, uh, I represent uh, the headquarters, basically, and, and uh, I'm the answer man as I, uh, I give out the words. Uh, if uh, Dick and, and Terry have a have a question, they give me a call, and uh, I usually have the answer. If not, I get it for them as quickly as possible. But uh, uh, the, we have uh, when we have counties uh, that are set up and, and active like this one is, I don't have a lot to do. Uh, it, it it really makes my job easy. Uh, Dick's a veteran. He was on the committee and then came back on the committee. Terry's been with us a few years now and. Uh, uh, Dick raises the money until he gets to spend it. I thought that's kind of neat. Uh, 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 pretty nice to have the, uh, the the money, the checkbook in ladies' hands, and uh, it's uh, that they do a real good job of, of, of monitoring and, and helping the families in need. We appreciate that very much. Okay, Terry, you you spend the money. Tell us uh, what uh, how you distribute it and how you do that. We give out um, 
approximately $825 average a month for people who are in need. We cover um, utilities, housing, which includes rent or house payment, um, transportation, $25 gas for medical needs, uh, and also sometimes help with medicine. We average um, 15 families per month, and um, it's a wonderful program. There's a lot of need in Fulton County. So about $800 a month is passed out? Right. That's right. good. All right, now, Dick, tell us, uh, uh, people out there that are interested in ringing bells, how, how they go about volunteering. We have a website, if they're computer literate, it's www.registertoring.com. It's really easy to uh, pick a location, to pick a day, and to be to, to be entered and to, to ring on that. That reserves your time slot. All of us who are working here have access to that database, and so we'll know immediately that that space is taken. Uh, if they don't want to do that, then they can call uh, Dot Smook. 224-2151 or Jackie Hawkins 223-4854 or myself. Okay, ideally, how, how many people do you need uh, to make this run smoothly? Well, there's five two-hour shifts a day for each location. Uh, so the minimum would be that we need uh, five people every day for every location. Um, and we have we have four locations, so there's a lot of folks. We're ringing at Kroger and Walmart from Monday through Saturday. We ring at Save a Lot and Big R Thursday, or Thursday and Friday, or Friday and Saturday only. And that's because we don't have enough people to fill those spots. Okay. I can open those up if we have a deluge of people calling in. Okay, Major, how long have you been involved with Salvation Army and, and why did you get involved? I'm in my 51st year as a Salvation Army officer. In 10 years, I'm in my 10th year of doing this particular part of the work. Uh, I'm supposed to be retired, but uh, <laughs> uh, I enjoy this so much, uh, it, it's really good. And, uh, I, did, I did want to make a comment uh, when Terry was saying how much he was able to give out. Uh, the amount of money we're able to spend on a given month depends on the amount of money we raise in our kettles. So the more money we raise, the more uh, help you'll be able to give out on, in, a, in a larger, uh, larger sums for each family. So that's, a, that's why we really kind of pushed the kettle program. That's our biggest uh, and only re really fundraiser that we do is, is the kettle program, so it, it's important. Uh, and, and in my, my 50 some years of, of uh, doing kettles and all that kind of stuff, uh, it, it's, it's harder today to get volunteers. Years ago, everybody wanted to do it. You couldn't, you, you had to turn them away. Uh, now, we have a hard time getting them. And so, uh, uh, I don't know whether they're too busy or what the, what the reasoning is, because it's not only here, it's everywhere. It's not every place I go, that's the biggest thing we have is finding volunteers. Uh, if we can get some high school st students, uh, that really helps. Uh, I know, and I just came to a meeting last night. Uh, the National Honor Society is going to be helping in one of the one of the, the systems that we have. Uh, in another county, I have the uh, all the sports teams uh, come out and ring at least one shift. So it, it, it varies on, on who who can come and help ring. And and uh, uh, in fact, last year in Adams County, if it wasn't for the high school kids, we wouldn't hardly have any money to give out. Uh, they raised almost almost six thousand dollars for us. In the, in the kettles, uh, just by, because they came out of rain. So Does most of the money raised major stay in Fulton County? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really our thing. Money right. raised here stays here. Right. Uh, we, we, we want to let people know that uh, uh, we want to spend it locally. And uh, uh, somebody coming from another county, we say go back to that county because we have a representative of every county around here. <laughs> so there's no reason for them to come here. Okay, Terry, some people out there that may be interested in participating in this, how do they go about it? If they call the office, um, they can leave a message, 223-4802. Um, 
That's what I thought. 4802. <laughs> and uh, we check those messages every day. Okay. And we will get back to them. Okay. Dick, Dick, we see we. Again, we, we, we see these people uh, who, who ring the bells. Do you, you kind of have to have a thick skin for that? I mean, you're going to have some people that uh, that are very nice to you and maybe some that, that are not quite so nice, no? Okay. People are very, very nice to awesome. ringers. Awesome. You see a lot of people you know. It's a lot of fun. I right. mean, the time passes quickly. Good. So uh, we're not, anybody that rings is going to have a good time. Good. Well, at First Federal, of course, this is our 50th year, and we, it is. we have every every month uh, have a charity of the month, and uh, Salvation Army is the charity of the month. And so, therefore, Terry, I'd like to present to you a check for $500 that oh, you can put that, in the kitty. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's a good start. Thank, thank you so yeah, much, Dick, to start. you and the employees. We appreciate that. You've always been generous to us, and that means a lot. Thank you. Okay, uh, the trivia this morning, uh, how many uh, living veterans are there in the U.S.? 20 million, 22 million, 25 million? Well, let's see. Let's go to the guy that knows all the answers. Yeah. <laughs> 25. <laughs> That's a good guess. Anybody else want to guess? Uh, 22. 22 million. 22 million. Okay. All right, now how, how many are there in Fulton County? Oh, you didn't give me a choice on that one, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> come, come within a... Oh my. oh my. Okay, 1,400, 1,500, or 1,700. Okay. In Fulton County. 1,500. No. 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 17. You're right. Oh, <laughs> yay. I win free money from First Federal Day. Yeah, you're, you're doing good. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's close with these words of wisdom. Uh, first of all, from, uh, I got two. One okay. from Arthur Miller. You know who he was. Playwright. Yeah. Everybody likes a kidder, but nobody lends him money. <laughs> I'm not sure that's right. But going to politics, Adolf Hitler said Ooh. this. No politician should ever let himself be photographed in a bathing suit. <laughs> there you go. Words of wisdom, no doubt about it. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. By the way, Scott, you going to be over there today? We will be uh, live. We'll be over there as well. So uh, for the, the radio broadcast and for the TV broadcast live as well today. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. And all of you folks from the Salvation Army, Dick, Major, Terry, thank you for being here today as well. Thanks for having us. You bet. Thank you. A lot has changed since 1966, but your local banking partner, First Federal Savings Bank, has it? We've evolved. By combining today's technology with our timeless service to make banking more convenient and enjoyable. At First Federal, we believe in the best way forward is to continue treating customers like family. The dedicated service of our First Federal family members and the support of our wonderful communities keep us going. As I've said for 50 years, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.